hi guys welcome back to my channel well today i'm just gonna talk about this ridiculous hollywood reporter article and it also was followed up i think in the new york post guys we know these are murdoch people we know these are coordinated effort and they're trying to bring down megan but it did not happen it backfired spectacularly on them because people are just fed up with this it's a regurgitation of the same old british news that they are now Ill, trying to infiltrate in the u.s this same conversation dutch is difficult where did we hear that before we heard it from william this thing about she making grown men cry is it jason Kanoff she made cry because she sent him emails in the morning these guys from uk they are so lazy so they found it so difficult that a woman of her caliber, how dare her, how uppity could she be to act like she could give me orders. And that is where all of this is stemming for, from. Let us call BS on this whole article. The, if you read it, it's it's like a child wrote it. It's ridiculous. Nothing makes sense in it. They're talking about they have um, witnesses past and present, but yet still everything you heard, it was regurgitation from what happened in the UK or what they said. Remember, the Queen did a review. Meghan had her facts. Megan had her paper. You know why the Queen and the royal family couldn't produce it? Because they know they were so out of depth. They never had anything on Megan. You are telling me these people that wants the worst for Megan wouldn't have put that out in the public domain, but because they know that Megan has her facts. And that is what is killing them. So this report that is coming into these newspapers, don't get it twisted. We know the New York Post and all of those um, papers are owned by Murdoch and maybe other people that are against Megan. We know that's what's happening here, right? But it backfired, guys. People are waking up. People are saying, enough of this. You're just into the woman. No matter how much she lives in her best life, you're, you're, you're bitter. You cannot deal with the fact that Megan is living her life to her way of living her life. She does not care about what goes on in the UK, but yet still, every single day, you guys, every project she tried to do, you try to get involved. So tell me, who is the relevant person now? It appears that Megan is the GOAT. She must be the greatest of all time in terms of royalty because you guys cannot seem to quit her. She has quit you long time ago, but you guys cannot stop. So in the latest attempt to malign Meghan Markle's character, claiming that she's a dictator and terrifies staff and reduces grown men to tears, has completely backfired reduces grown men to tears this this is uk stuff guys that is how they talk they talk so weird this is how they talk they they don't know how to communicate listen to the language right and the stupid media houses pick up every single thing that they say because they're trying to create clicks that is it but guess what it is backfiring. People are fed up. People are sick and tired of you. People having this coordinated hit piece on Meghan Markle. Leave the woman alone. Yes, she's a black woman. Yes, you guys cannot stand the fact that she was in charge and giving you orders. And that is what is killing you. Yes, she married the prince. Yes, she take on a prince away because he'd rather... Be her husband than be your prince. That's how bad it is. Yes, he loves his wife dearly. He cherish her, the ground she walks on. He treats her like a queen, not a princess. He treats Megan like a queen. You cannot take it. You cannot take the fact that Megan lives in a mansion 
a multi-million mansion that looks posh, that looks extravagant, that's just everything to die for. You cannot take the fact that Megan travels the world. You cannot take the fact that she wears the best clothes, that she carries herself impeccably. She does well. She looks good. Her skin is healthy. She's not stressing over you. But my God, you guys are just sick. And that is why. Look at William. William look like he's, he's, he's aging. He's aging so fast. You know why? You guys are bitter. You're putting out bitter pills. Megan, at the same time, she's detoxifying. Detoxifying herself. All the nastiness that you guys want her to have is not there. She's clean. She's pure. So in a coordinated hit piece, outlets like the Hollywood Reporter and the New York Post have tried to portray Megan as a tyrannical figure behind the scenes. But the public is seen right through the narrative. The smear campaign has ignited a viral response with many people coming to Megan's defense and calling out the thinly veiled misogyny embedded in these attacks. The BS. BS. People are calling out the bull that you guys are bringing out. You don't need to stop. Let's break down why this narrative not only fails but actively galvanizes Megan's supporters. The idea that Megan is terrifying for simply sending emails at 5 a.m. speaks volumes about the pettiness of these accusations. In most industries, early communication is a sign of diligence and competence, not cruelty. To frame her hard work as dictatorial, is not only absurd, but reeks of desperation to paint a strong, accomplished woman in a negative light. Megan's alleged crime, <laughs> holding people accountable and setting high standards for her staff, setting boundaries, because some of them, you know, guess what they were doing? They were disrespecting Megan. But they didn't want Megan to set boundaries. They wanted to feel that, oh, how dare you, you're uppity. How dare you feel you can come in here and talk to us and give us orders. So they wanted that from Megan. And Megan said, uh-uh, cut the crap. I am not doing this with you guys. But they don't like it. If a 7 a.m. email is enough to reduce someone to tears, a grown, big-ass grown man, man, men, whoever you guys are, to tears, perhaps the issue isn't Megan, but the fragility of those who can't handle, handle basic professional expectations. Social media platforms have erupted with support for Megan, as people are calling out the double standards she continues to face. Many have pointed out how typical these baseless um, accusations are, especially when directed at women, particularly women of color in positions of power. They don't like, they don't like women who have power when they are of a certain you a certain color, they don't like it. And that is what's driving all of this. You notice, even though they go after Harry, they say, Harry is a nice guy, but he's enabling Megan. Really? Really, guys? So Megan must be pee pee clock clocking behind Harry because Harry is a prince. So Megan must not have a say. They are partners. Harry respects his wife. Harry loves his wife. Right? Megan has a say in her relationship with Harry, in her life with Harry. But social media was not going to let you this one slide, guys. You need to stop. There comes a point when enough is enough. This is what some of them are saying. Duchess Megan. Please show me your ways. Making grown men cry 
all I can say and do is stand. More power to you. Another said, we know the kind of men who would be reduced to tears by a woman like Duchess Meghan. She's a feminist who knows her worth and that's threatening to those who can't handle it. The public response has been overwhelmingly positive, with many praising Megans for standing up against the firm, the outdated, um, oppressive, and outdated norms that the firm has. With one commentator, commenter humorously put it, make Jason Knopf a mediocre white Brit, white Brit man, cry because of a 7 email um 7 a.m email i love it it's impossible to ignore the misogynistic and racist undertones in which megan is portrayed the media has long scrutinized and vilified her for traits that would be celebrated in a male counterpart strength ambition and a refusal to conform to toxic traditions the idea that megan is somehow at fault for demanding professionalism and excellence only serves to highlight the inherent bias against her many respondents have pointed out a stark contrast in how Megan's actions are framed compared to her male counterparts. As one supporter tweeted, being a dictator is not the same as standing up for what is right and refusing to be silenced. Duchess Megan is a hard-working queen and we stand. We stand for it. Oh yes. Another aspect of this failed smear is how it exposes the cultural clash between Megan and the royal household. Household. Megan comes from a background of hard work, high education, and personal success. The criticism that she terrifies staff is more a reflection of the royal institution's discomfort with a modern, high-achieving woman who dares to disrupt the status quo. As one supporter put it, it's not Meghan Markle's fault that she comes from a culture of hard work and achievement while the British staff come off as lazy and incompetent. Definitely not. It's not Meghan's fault. They are lazy. That is why William and Kate refuse to work, refuse to have something meaningful there to their career, to their life as royal. Oh no, we cannot say anything that they have done that's impactful apart from the fact that they go out and cut ribbon and take a few pictures. Look at Harry's life. Harry was in the same institution, but he made the most of it. We have Invictus, we have Travelers, we have Mental Health thing, we have Better Up, we have so many other things. We have Halo Trust, we have the Diana Trust. Yes, William might be a part of the Diana Trust, but maybe they force him out. But even with him being in it, the, his effect, he doesn't seem to be so passionate about it the way Harry does, right? So that is it. They are incompetent. They are lazy. The failure of this attack on Megan's character is clear. It only strengthened her position as a role model who isn't afraid to challenge the norm. Instead of harming her reputation, this smear has turned into another spectacular backfire. People are fed up with these baseless um, character assassinations and the continued attempts to portray Megan as a villain only make her more beloved by those who see through the nonsense, right? The hashtag Megan Markle is winning says it all. Megan supporters have rallied around her not just defending her, but celebrating her resilience in the face of these repetitive, coordinated attacks. As one viral tweet summed up, another coordinated attack on Duchess Meghan has failed miserably, backfired spectacularly. 
Meghan Markle is a modern woman, a feminist, and an advocate for positive change, which is why she remains such a threat to those who are invested in our data traditions. These attacks will continue to fail because they are rooted in fear of a strong, successful woman who refuses to back down. So while the tabloids and royal insiders may continue their campaigns, Megan will continue to rise above, stronger, more admired, and more beloved than ever. Guys, we see it. We see it. We see it happening. Megan continues to look like a baby, youthful, stress-free. The toxicity is out of her system. She doesn't need them. She's drinking her water. She's exercising, doing her yoga. She's living her best life. She's looking good. The face is a face card. Can't lie. She looks good. She is the moment she and Harry, they are the blueprint of what life should be like, of how you leave toxic people and toxic family members behind. Leave them alone. Leave Megan alone, guys, because you guys will not win. Because people are picking up on your BS, your crap. Every day you come out, you have these American counterparts. The same UK people, they are just counterparts in the US, putting out these hit pieces on Megan. It will not work. When I tell you it has backfired, it's not in the newspaper anymore. I saw it on Daily Mail. It's not there anymore. You know why it's not really there? Because they have to take it off their front page because people are licking out of them left, right, and center. People are saying, you guys continue to malign this woman. Continue to invade her peace, her peace, her space. You guys continue to come out every day to vilify her when she's living her best life. She's enjoying life. I wish to God you guys would enjoy a quarter of the life Megan is having. That is why you all look so old and wrinkled up and demented and sick. You look sick. Every single one of you that have something bad to say about Megan. Look at your face. Look at your body. You're not out there living life. You're not out there. Yes, you might be making money on YouTube. But look at how you're looking. You're looking frail. You're looking deranged. You're looking like mad people. You're not happy. But guess what? Megan has her prince. And she's very happy. Very contented with life. You can see happy life, happy wife. Happy home, happy wife. Megan is happy. She is living her life. And I'm so happy for them. Look at them. They have friends. They have friends that really care about them. Not friends that love to gossip. Not friends that want to bring them down. But friends that want the best from them. They are doing great. They are doing great, guys. So we need to just accept that and move on, right? Because Megan and Harry are the moment. So guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. Bye.